Hi and welcome to Lux Garage. I'm Jason and this is Lux Garage. Thanks for coming back and seeing me. This is my fifth episode. I'm new to all this YouTube stuff. I'm just trying to put it out there. Go over some of the stuff that's in my collection. I got some more stuff from the garage to go over. And I also got some stuff that's sold. So let's go ahead and get started. I brought this box from the shop. Looks like there's quite a bit of stuff in here. I also brought down another piece from the shop. It's the Color Racers Auto Paint Factory. They're new. Bobby, color racer. Yeah. From red to orange to white. Use warm or ice water. So cool. Car packs and tracks sold separately. You put it together, not for use with some set. This is from 1988. Let's see what we got in this box. Looks like we got the box. Looks like we got a piece of yellow track. It's like we got a piece of the flat. Yeah, it tore off right there. Got a Hot Wheel sign. Looks like a turnaround. So we got a hook. Open and close there. All right, looks like we got two Hot Wheels. We got a 55 Chevy. We also have a Ferrari 308. Try to catch your water. It looks like it's all complete. I'm sure there was some kind of manual to come with it. I'll go ahead and put this back. We'll get on with the unbox. All right, now let's see what we got in the box. Let's see, we got a Auburn 852. Still in the package. This is dated 1982, and it's unpunched, but the package has definitely seen better days. We got a Phantom Machine. This is from 1986, still in the package. We got a Baja Bug Real Rider. It's on a cut card from 1982. We got a Roll Patrol Jeep CJ7 Action Commands, and it's from 1986 also. A Blazer 4x4, this is from 1988. Got a blown Camaro D28, it's from 1988 also. Got a Jeep Scrambler, 1986. Got a Firebird Funny Car, 1986. Got an 80s Firebird. It's from 1988. I got a Formula 5000. This is on a patch card. It is unpunched. That's pretty cool. We got another 80s Firebird. 1986. We got a Tall Rider. 1989. And I got another Tall Rider from 1986. I got the two color variation on the stripes and also two wheel variations there. That's cool. Oh, we got a color racer. This is a 57 Chevy. Let's see, it's from, I don't see no date on there. Here it is, 1988. Color racers, these are just basically like big. That's pretty cool right there. This is an employee piece. Try to take it out here. Yeah, this is a Fat Fender 40. The way I understand it is you had to be an employee and going into this spirit of diversity internship to get this piece. I got this from a retired Mattel employee. That's really cool right there. Looks like we got a Super California Customs. What's hot? Hot wheels. What's cool? California Custom pop-up engine snap-on mag wheels. Transform them into muffle cars. So hot, so cool. This is the big surprise. It come out in 1990. It looks to be an OBS step side Chevy truck. That's cool. This you don't see a lot. This is Mattel Mastercaster Formula One card. This is from 1979, Hawthorne, California. Mastercaster. That's where you make your own Hot Wheels. There's a picture of all the designs and colors you can make. Let's see what we got in this. All right, we've got the box. We got a master caster. I don't know. We got the instructions here. We just read on them. All right, let's see what we got and what we might be missing. 24 wheels and axle sets. Well, one, two, three, four, five, 20, 21, 22. We got, looks like 23, what I could count right there, cars. So if they're 24 sets, I may have miscounted. Should have five different molds one mold, two molds, three molds, four molds. Five molds right there. Anyway, it's got two plastic trays. It says it's supposed to have two trays. This is a cleaning tray, so it does have this. A label sheet we don't have and 12 wax pellets. Everything else we do have. 
put this back in the box. All right, that's cool. Master Blaster. Well, we got a Matchbox Looney Tunes. This is from 1993. This is the Roadrunner. I remember buying this complete set just so I could get this one car out of it when I saw it. But that's really cool right there. 1993. Oh, we got a California Custom. California Custom. Hot neon paint job. Colored wheels. California Custom. Each sold separately. This is the Street Rider. This is 1989 is the date. So these come out in 1990. Let's see, we got a micro parking plates. This is a Firebird little mini Trans Am in there. That's cool. It's from 1989. That's really cool. Let's see, we got a mini Auto Magic. This is another color changer. This is from 1989, all in foreign writing. But there is a Porsche 911, Lamborghini Countach. It's got a Porsche 959 and a C3 Corvette. Or it might be C4. It's got a Corvette in it. Sorry, Corvette people. We got another mini Auto Magic. This is also on a foreign card. Hot Wheels, the Auto Magic Hot Wheels. Come on, the gek, the Auto Magic Hot Wheels. Even Hot Wheels, come on, the gek. Uh, 1989, and this one has a Ferrari Testarossa. It's got a Ferrari 308. Another Corvette Stingray. Looks like an IROC Z Camaro, which that's pretty cool right there. You don't see them in the foreign pack very often. It looks like we got the Simpsons. This is a nuclear waste van from the Simpsons. This is from 1990. This is a scene machine. Look in the back and it shows a scene. A lot of variations on this. We got the other Simpsons. This is also a scene machine. This is the family camper. The Baja Breaker. This is also from 1990. I know there's a lot of variations in these with the wheels. Pretty good cars on this one too. Oh wow, I didn't even know this would be in here. These are hard to come by. This is the Real Rider 3 pack with the stamp. And it's from 1984. I believe it's the only way you can get this bug. It's got the Baja bug right there in black, white hub. It's got the dream van in the maroon color with the white hub. And it also has the byway man. If you collect the byway man, you're going to be looking for a lot of the variations with different wheels, paint schemes, and also there's toolboxes in the back. This one does have the toolboxes in the back. I can't believe it's in the box here. And we got a 20 piece anniversary collector's edition set. This is from 1987. It's got the exclusive 20th year anniversary Firebird Funny Car. It's got a Byway Man without the toolboxes in the back. And it also has Peterbilt dump truck. That's in really nice shape there. It looks like that's everything out of this box. Had a viewer ask me about some Baja Bugs and some Jeeps. Looks like we pulled some Baja Bugs out of this. And we've got one Jeep. What I'm doing over in the Hot Wheels area. Hot Wheels, only from Mattel. As I'm getting all my loose cars out and sorted, and as I go through, I check to see if I have it. And if I do have it, then is this one in better shape, or is there a variation on it? If it's in better shape, I'll keep it. If it's got a variation on it, I'll keep it also. That's how I'm sorting my cars right now. Had a viewer ask me about them, so I wanted to go over them and kind of show you where I'm at with them right now. I don't have them all out, of course. I don't have all my collection down and out gone through yet, but I'll show what I've got out as of right now. And that's it for the unboxing and what I brought down from the shop. But I appreciate you coming back and seeing me. Please like, share, follow, subscribe, all that YouTube stuff. Want to leave a comment on something that you see or want to know something about. If you like the videos, please thumbs up. If you think I need to change some stuff on the videos, let me know. I'm new to the YouTube stuff. I'm just really going off what I thought I would want to see if I was watching the TV. Anyway, I'm rambling. we got some real nice stuff for the collection. Now let's get into some stuff that sold. Sold this Hot Wheels New Old Stock collector's poster from 1984, and it sold for 30 Sold this Hot Wheels Camaro Z28. This is the hot ones. It sold for 5 Sold this 99 Civic Type R from the Neon Speedsters line. It sold for 5 Sold this 69 Pontiac Firebird from the 40th anniversary 30 car collector set. It sold for 10. Sold this Raging Cajun Treasure Hunt for 4. Sold this Volkswagen Drag Truck from the Classic Series. It's the purple one. Sold it for 8. Sold the red version of the Classics Volkswagen Drag Truck for 8. And I sold this customized Volkswagen Drag Bus. This is from 2005. This is the 10th year anniversary of the Treasure Hunt. It sold for $58. The only way to get this was to mail in and get vouchers. You get the four different vouchers, and then you mail that in to get the car. I've decided I'm not going to collect the Volkswagen drag bus going forward, so I'm going to sell most of those. Sold this PlayStation 1007, The World Is Not Enough, 
video game. It sold for eight. Sold these PlayStation 2, Final Fantasy 10, and Final Fantasy 12 video games, complete in box. Sold that pair for 20. Sold this Johnny Lightning 60 Ford station wagon for nine. Sold this Muscle Machines 56 Ford Fairlane. This is the 2004 Christmas edition, and it sold for 20. Sold this vintage Muscle Machines yellow 67 Nova for 10. Sold this vintage Matchbox Super Fast. This is a Renault LeCar. It sold for $14. Also sold this vintage Matchbox Super Fast Caravan Camper. It sold for eight. Sold this vintage Hot Wheels Hauler. This is a Hershey Kiss Hauler. And it sold for four. Sold this vintage Hot Wheels High Tail Hauler. This is the Flying Colors Black Wall version. This was one of the transition pieces where they had red lines in the black walls. The red lines had the flames on the hood and the roof and then they transitioned to the black walls and they just put it on the hood there is some last run bread lines that got the black wall wheels with the flames on the roof they're a lot harder to come by than this one this one sold for 18 dollars i want to thank y'all for coming back and seeing me and seeing what we got out of the collection today and seeing what we sold if you would like share subscribe follow do all that youtube stuff if you like what you see give it a thumbs up if you would please check out some of my other videos i'm gonna go ahead and wrap this one up i appreciate y'all and I hope to see you on the next one. Thank you.